Good morning. Day three of wingding. Second full day. Let's go for better things today. That is going to get himself set up so that from that point he shouldn't have to brake or accelerate between both curves. Just nice and smooth. And right on out the cones. So after a fairly difficult morning getting there, we spent three hours on the range. We went through, I believe it was 11 different exercises, everything from uh, just cornering, braking. Uh, we also did a really good backup practice that I'll probably continue when I get on back. Um, but it was hot, and so three hours in the, in the Louisiana sun. Uh, it was probably 80s up to 90s while we were out there. I, I refused to look because I didn't want to know. But it was a good time. <clears throat> After three hours on the range, it's time to rehydrate and refuel. So I'm not very big on spending money, but uh, these have been discontinued. So the price was pretty good. I've looked at some other systems. I haven't quite seen one that's uh, that this that this price, 100 bucks to do this. And then this is the kind that has a little picture of your motorcycle with the trailer on it. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. After spending some money at Wing Ding, it was time to get supper with Tech Savvy and the group that uh, comes around him. What a great group of people. Uh, thanks everybody for hanging out and let me hang out with you. Yes. Well, just got done with uh, dinner with Carnell Luckett and the company. A lot of great people there. Now it's time to go to the light show. Hey, I don't know. I'm not good at interviews. Yeah. Hey, uh, my name is Glenn. Just here to enjoy the last week day. I can't believe it's a bit of sweet for me. This is my first one. And hopefully it won't be my last last one for us, whoever's gonna take up the mantle, because you know there's a lot of history here. So you come to meet new people and make new friends and that's that's what I'm gonna miss about. I'm not gonna miss because somebody's gonna take up. Somebody's gonna take up. I believe it. It's too big to be over with, man. I'm just here talking to uh, a new friend now, Redbeard, man. I mean, like I said, I watch his videos, and it's just interesting. Yeah. I just, you just, just enjoy his ride, you know. You, you enjoy your ride. I'm thinking about going dark side, too, but I'm going to get somebody to put mine on. I can't do it. Dude. I'm going to go dark side as well. Come on down and I'll put you yeah. All right. That's a great opinion. Good opinion, too, now. Appreciate it. All right, enjoy. Enjoy Peace the show. You, too. Go, Cornell, look it. I'll, <laughs> I'll have a separate light show video, but... Here's some of the highlights from the night. So, uh, yes, about a uh, about an hour after the thing started. Things started at 8.15 at 9.12. Bikes were leaving, and uh, they were forcing them to leave. Told us all get on the sidewalk so the bikes could get out, and then off we went. So, I mean, number one, it's a light show. We, we want to see the, see the bikes, we want to talk to the owners. And uh, number two, it's the last one. Um, talked to some they didn't didn't care. They're like, well, I wanna. So we want to see the bikes, and they're like, well, I wanna, and I wanna go home. I wanna have a beer. I wanna. I gotta get up in the morning. It's like, it's the last one. I think that's lost on people. The last one. This thing should have been a party all night, but no, it's over. Here we are, about an hour after it started. Everybody's gone. Everybody's gone. So whoever takes this over, learn a lesson. Let's let's be for the people. Let's be for the members. Let's let people have a good time. And this is Redbeard. Until my next adventure. See you on the road.